Classical realism is actually oddly named because in the old days they used to call it realism, uh, but then about 30 years ago some other scholars wanted to update realism, and so they came up with some new names for it, and by way of distancing themselves from classical realism, they started to call it classical realism, but you know, classical musicians didn't think they were playing classical music, they thought they were playing music. So classical realism derives from a tradition of realism that all realisms share, which is sort of an emphasis on the anarchic nature of international politics, which is that it's a dangerous world in which behaviors of others may be unconstrained. Not necessarily unconstrained, but they could be unconstrained. And, and because of that, countries in the system need to be alert to the provision of their own security. That's the kind of point of departure of all forms of realism.